Alright guys, so we're heading to Virginia. Let's go. Sage fam, let's go. We are about to head to Virginia for the white people bodybuilding show. And of course we're supposed to eat some delicious food while we out here. Tried the best review breakfast place in Virginia. And of course the white people go get in on these reviews too. Let's go, let's do it. best breakfast joints in Virginia. Now, they're known for having homemade biscuits, so I had to try out the Love Shack, which come with brie, honey, berry jam, fresh berries with pralines on an open-faced biscuit. Let's review. All right, guys, so we have this nice, moist, tasty biscuit. Of course, with the jam sauce, I try it. I says, hmm. Interesting. The biscuit is fluffy. It is tasty. But I said, let me go back again because I'm trying to get a really good understanding with the brie cheese, with the strawberry. I said, okay, it's getting a little better. You know, it's trying to get them. I'm trying to figure it out because the biscuit is delicious. But it's a very sweet, savory, but not, I don't know, it's not extremely flavorful. The sauce, the jam does help out with it a lot, I must admit. But if I had to give a good rate on this, I'd have to say it's a three out of five. It's worth trying, but it's nothing to just be excited about. Now guys, for our next item, we have tried the Rockwell. It comes with buttermilk fried chicken, cheddar cheese, with ghetto sausage gravy. Biscuit nice and fluffy. Let's do a nice review, let's do it. Now guys, I took a bite of it. The first thing I taste is that nice, nice flavorful biscuit with that gravy. That gravy truly enhances the flavor of the biscuit. With the fried chicken and the cheddar cheese, I'm liking what I'm tasting. I said, okay, German, let's try it out with just some of the gravy and some of the biscuit to really get a good understanding of what's going on in my mouth right now. I took a bite of it. I said, oh man, y'all trying to get me. Am I back in Texas? Am I back down south? What's going on here? I said, hold on, hold on, biscuit in the belly. I see y'all. So I said, let me try it with the battered chicken. Guys, I tried it with the battered chicken. Oh my Lord. I said, this right here, the rock was worth trying on a scale of one of five. I gotta give it a 4.5 out of five all day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now guys, for our next item, I tried the bonuts which is biscuit donut host with cinnamon sugar and bourbon cream sauce. Let's, let's go review it, let's get to it. Now guys, with the bonuts, it's a very interesting dish because I feel like you kinda, kinda finesse it a little bit. Let me explain. If you put that bourbon cream cheese on your old bonut and melt it ever so gently, it is delicious. But when you eat the bonut by itself, solo dolo, it wouldn't be something I would just get. I would have to really say, because it's kind of dry, but it is flavorful. But with the, I'm just saying, with the cream cheese, it brings it out. On a scale of one to five, it's a three out of five. Because I'm thirsty right now, eating it. So I'm telling you, without the cream cheese, you gonna be all kind of dry in the throat. I'm gonna let you know right now, I didn't almost make it. I said, okay, okay. You don't have to let all right guys so it's late at night but you know what time it is everywhere i go i'm gonna take care of my sage fam we just do a review on that chick-fil-a sandwich let's go Bite into it, I'm gonna say that that could sway the opinion. But there are some jalapenos on it as well, instead of those famous pickles you normally get. So there's a pimento, mayo, pepper mix. I believe that's what the sauce is. And then there's supposed to be some honey. I don't see any honey. Maybe it melted or jalapenos it dried out. Too. I don't see any honey, but let's go for it. All right, big bite right here. Oh man. Interesting. 
be honest with you, um, it's like a regular Chick Fil A sandwich to me. Uh oh. Maybe because it's been sitting for a minute, but I'm not getting any hint of honey. Mm. The cheese kind of just tastes like mayonnaise mm. on a sandwich. I mean, I do taste the peppers from the pimento, so slightly different there, but it tastes the overpowering Chick Fil A sandwich flavor is what I'm tasting. Let me go for one more bite though. Try to get a little hot pea meal in there. Right, okay. A little bit. So I'm gonna go for the middle here. Get that bite right there with all the stuff. Oh man, good bite. Yeah. Okay. The only thing that's different is now it just tastes like a spicy jalapeno <laughs> with some chicken. Mm. Wow. So we need like some kind of like maybe like extra sauce to make it stand out. <laughs> maybe because... because we ordered it so late. It is like nine o'clock here. And it's been sitting for maybe 15 minutes. I don't taste any honey. And it really just tastes like a Chick-fil-A sandwich with some side items. So on nothing scale, is cohesive. Nothing is flowing together here. So on a scale of one and five, what would you get up? I mean if I'm judging it as a new Chick-fil-A sandwich, mm -hmm. not even its old predecessor, mm -hmm. as a regular original, mm -hmm. this is a three out of five. Mm. It's nothing special. It's, so, not, it's not Popeye's chicken good. Mm. I do like Chick-fil-A sandwich, don't get me wrong, but if I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna go to Popeye's first. Uh -oh. Anyway, um, if you're looking for something new, it's nothing new, in my opinion. I don't taste the cohesiveness of it. Maybe I'll order one more time in a, Lunch rush, see if I get the honey, the pimento, the uh, jalapeno working together. Mm. Right now, it's just a regular Chick fil A sandwich with some side spice. All right, Miss Sage. Yeah. All right, that's it. That's it for me. Now, guys, we're going to Wawa to try that pretzel croissant cheese steak sandwich. Oh my lord, oh my lord. 